It's time for another video. This one is about electricity and its utter failures of existence. I'm going to turn this fan off so it's easier to hear. Alright, so what's going on here is we've noticed lately that our microwave isn't working very well and the igniters on the stove don't work most of the time. And we're like, well why? It doesn't make sense. Well, we have this fancy pants creature right here, which, um, it does a lot of stuff, but one of the main things it does, you can plug it in an outlet that has power, and it'll tell you how much voltage it has. So this one has 108.2. It should have, like, you know, around 110, so it's good. If you check that one, same deal. Now you come over here, and I have the breaker off, obviously, because I've got the wires all, you know, out of the outlets and stuff. But if you check them here... They're at the best 95 volts, which is 15 volts too low, and apparently that's enough that the microwave doesn't work half the time, which is why you'll notice that it's on even though the breaker is off, because the microwave is attached to an extension cord over to this outlet down here that you can't even see, but it's back there, and it's got the toaster oven plugged into it too. But the point is, is I took this outlet apart, to see if there's anything wrong with it. Now this one's fine. Except for the fact that if you notice the box is way back here and they put in this wonderful crap backsplash and made the hole so big that it only touches at the bottom. So the top can just move around as it wants and go back and forth so when you plug stuff in and it's greasy and disgusting too. And it's been like that since I bought the house but it's been like blocked by coffee makers and blenders and stuff so I didn't notice, but it is gross. Um, so that thing moves around all over the place, and there were times where you could run the microwave and you could move it around, and it would actually shut the microwave off. So I don't know what was going on with that. I tried to make it do that again today, and it wouldn't. But it's still low voltage. The big thing, though, I mean, I'm no expert here, so they might have actually done but if you look at this, this is one of those, you know, GFCIs, you're supposed to be able to press this button in and it shuts off power. This button does nothing. You can't even press it in. And if you hold that one in when it has power, it'll shut the power off. Now, it was all the wires were clamped into the back with this. Because you can see there's like a crud load of wires. Because this is, you know, it's the GFCI. So all the other wires have to have at least one wire running like to this in some way. But if you look... You've got the white ones on this side where they're supposed to be, the black ones on this side where they're supposed to be, and then nothing on the ground screw. And it seems like a ground fault outlet should have, and there's a ground thing screwed into the back of the box, but I don't think that counts. And I can't even tell where that goes. It looks like it comes down and loops back up, and then there's this other one here. You can see that's just like three ground wires combined together right here. They're just three of them combined together. So I'm trying to figure out, and I'm not gonna do anything with this until I know, cause I'm not gonna blow up my house, but one of these wires in here is supposed to be connected to that, I think. And whether or not that has anything to do with the low voltage issue, I don't know, I don't think it does. The low voltage issue is sadly probably somewhere else caused by some kind of garbage wiring that went on somewhere in the wall because I thought there was actually something wrong with this outlet or this outlet because everything on this side of the sink is fine. But it turns out that um, the garbage disposal, this, this light or this switch right here is actually on a completely different breaker than that or that which is kind of bad because well, I, guess, I don't know because if, if this thing gets tripped it's not going to shut either of these off but I don't know that might be I don't know it seems like that's bad because it's supposed to be anything within whatever feet of a sink maybe because they're just switches I don't know but we know that like somebody paid off the city inspector to say this house is okay for me to move into it so I wouldn't be surprised that's completely a code violation in every single way. But there's definitely something shady going on in this corner. Um, but I'll figure that out later. I'm not a, um, I'm not an electrician. 
I um, will have to find out what's going on through the internet and maybe talking to people and either fix it myself if someone can give me a concrete thing that I need to do or have someone fix it that knows what they're doing so that I don't burn my house down. So that's it for now. Stay tuned for more exciting updates in the future.